My first guest tonight has been a star of stage and screen since he was eight years old. He now stars in a critically acclaimed drama that will mess with your head. Yes. It's officially hit the fan. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay. Let's all take a beat. We're gonna settle down here. Relax. Elliot? Hey, Elliot. You all right? Please welcome Christian Slater. I want to get thanks for coming back. Thanks All the way from back. the 80s. Yeah, exactly. There <laughs> we go. I, I want to I want to talk about the the show in just a minute, sure. but I got to warn you, I'm not totally caught up. So no problem. Please, I beg sure. you. Sure. No, no. I beg no, you. I okay. Totally forgiven. Absolutely. Uh, a happy birthday. Thanks. Good yeah, birthday. August 18. Oh yeah, congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Do you like do you, do you like celebrating your birthday? Do you make a big deal out of it? Uh, I don't mind it. No, I, I had a I didn't make a big deal out of it, but I had a nice party in Chicago with. Um, some friends that I met when I was working in Chicago, actually, a couple of years ago. Um, you know, that guy Dick Wolf has got about four different shows about Chicago. Chicago Med, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Fed, Chicago Law. All the so, shows make Chicago look like it's about to burn down tomorrow. Yeah, no, a lot of Chicago. Constant disaster. It's incredible, but mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of actors there and a lot of friends that I've uh, met when I was there. So uh, we all got together and had a nice, uh, nice, so nice. It's not your favorite birthday, but a good birthday. Not my favorite, but uh, a good one. Uh, but probably, if I had to choose a particular favorite birthday, it was uh, my my 12th birthday. That was that was the big. <laughs> That was the big celebration. That what, what, did you That's hit, the one that really puberty? stands what out in my brain. Really, why well, was it so much better? It was, now, I hit puberty later, um, uh, a little later, but uh, uh, this birthday particularly was great because, uh, uh, well, the surprise guest at the party, my mother was always doing stuff like this because she knew pretty much everybody in show business. Um, she worked in the industry. In the industry, in the industry. Yeah. she was a casting director, so she knew a lot of actors and, and people like that. So there were always different people showing up at these wonderful parties that I would have as a kid, and one of them this year at 12 was uh, Mark Hamill. So, yeah, yeah. No, it was... I'd be excited if he showed up my birthday now. Yeah, no, I know. That's yeah. a perfect age for Mark Hamill to show up your birthday. It was incredible. I mean, it was right around the time of The Empire Strikes Back. So, uh, you can imagine I was, uh, I was beyond belief starstruck. I mean, I, was, I, I couldn't speak to him. It's you know? all downhill from there. Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, you're right, it is. <laughs> Man, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, no, she set the bar very, very high. But honestly, those people in Chicago were great. I love them too. <laughs> they were all good. They were good. They're, no they're, they're not Campbell, Luke Skywalker, do. but you know, do. they they did such well. You were already acting well. at that point. You were. I was, yeah. I'd done a few shows, and yeah, well, done... at eight, you were like on Broadway, right? Uh, yeah, I did uh, the Music Man with uh, Dick Van Dyke. That one. Uh, were you uh, Gary Indiana? I was. Gary Indiana. I, was Winthrop. I had wow. the lisp, and uh, I would sing it, but my wife would kill me. She would. <laughs> No, she would. I'm telling you, every time I even attempt or, or say I, I threaten to sing that song, she's like, you're a dead man. Yeah, so, yeah. and she's backstage, so I'm not messing around. Do you still, you still do live theater? Because I know you've performed in the West End in London, too, Yeah, right? yeah, I did, uh, I did a, uh, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest, actually, a couple of years ago uh, on the West End at the, the Gilgood Theater. That was a, definitely a phenomenal... Listen, it was great. It was, first of all, that show is amazing, and... Um, it was like a rock concert every night. I don't know. The audiences were nuts, and um, we all had a great time. And, and well, you spent most of your career in front of cameras as opposed to live on stage, right? Sure. Well, I mean, I grew up in New York. I grew up um, going to a lot of theater, and I had started very young in the theater. 
Um, but doing something in London was unique and fun, and that particular show was great because, well, I kept threatening um, the audience every night that I would stage dive on the last performance. And um, how do you threaten the audience? Well, with I, well, that? I was building uh, every night. You know, as, as we were getting closer and closer to the end of, of the run of, of the show, I would, you know, in order to you know get people to come back. It's it's a fun thing to do, you know. <laughs> The, one know, of these nights, I'm just going to take nights, a dive into the dive front out row. There, and uh, I mean, that could happen tonight. I could dive out there. <laughs> you see? Sure. It, it, it's a phenomenal. I, re I recommend it highly. Okay, um, all right. So, yeah. You first. So in, yeah, hey, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. No, no, no. <laughs> it's. <laughs> We'll start yeah, we'll out the, there and we'll then work there. our we'll way get down. There. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there all night. Yeah, we, we do. All night. Yeah. We have all night. You, um, me, Congressman John Lewis, we'll all go out there. That sounds great. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, we'll did you end up ever doing it? I did it. Yeah, no, on the last night. To a British audience? I thought they were so reserved. No, I, I listen, I was very surprised. But, um, yeah, during intermission, you know, they, they would all hit the pubs uh, and, and <laughs> came back and they were ready to party. It was incredible. And, you know, I, I did it and I... It was right at the curtain call, and I stood there on the edge, and I said, I'm coming, I'm coming! And I delve out there, and they caught me, and carried me around, and brought me back to the stage, and I did my curtain call, and said, sayonara. That's, that's how they say goodbye over there. That's right. Okay. As a young actor growing up, did you model yourself on anybody? Like, was there like a role model for you when you when you when you were coming up? So um, like, I want to be like that guy, or that guy gave me advice. Well, uh, certainly growing up, yeah. I mean, there was uh, one guy in particular that I loved, uh, Sean Connery. Uh, I worked I've heard with him. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The greatest guy yeah. uh, ever. But uh, I worked with him when I was about 16, uh, 15, 16 years old, and uh, um, yeah, he gave me some great advice. What was what were you working on? Uh, we were doing a movie called uh, The Name of the Rose. Um, oh, sure. You, F. Murray Abraham, yeah. Sean Connery, based right. on the Umberto Echo novel. That's yeah, correct. Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All in this, in this labyrinth, and it was a, like a 13th century uh, murder mystery, you know? So we were wearing these monk robes, and we were shooting out in Germany and Italy, and uh, I had a particularly uh, important scene to do on one particular day, and I just remember walking through these cloisters of this monastery with... Sean Connery, and, and uh, he was wearing a robe, and I was wearing a robe, and he said, so, you know, I understand today you have a pretty big scene, and I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. It was a love scene that I had to do, and, and uh, like, a, like a sex scene. It was pretty, yeah, it was a pr very intense uh, scene, you know, it was me and this young uh, peasant girl, and uh, we were... <laughs> at 16, yeah. at 16, they're all pretty intense. It was intense, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my toes are curling right now thinking about it. It was crazy. Um, these are great shoes, by the way, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, I just noticed that on the thing. And uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, back to the story. Um, yeah. So Sean just said to me, uh, "Yes, I, I understand that you're nervous, but uh, just remember to breathe, my boy." Really? Yeah, and I That's went in his there. Advice? Yeah, it was his advice. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try that next time. <laughs> Always remember to breathe. I'll tell you, do you want... Shall we give these people... A little crowd surf? Is that what we're doing? Come on, let's do it. All right! Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, what are we doing? Wow! Hold on. Can we do this? Yes! Mr. Robot! Mr. Robot airs Wednesdays on the USA Network. Christian Slater, everybody. We'll be right back with Chris Gere. <laughs>